Previously, we examined assessing progress towards a mitigation goal during the goal period and estimating whether the jurisdiction was on track for achieving the mitigation goal. This provided a way to assess the changes in emissions and their associated emissions drivers so that changes in mitigation strategies could be implemented to help achieve the mitigation goal. At the end of the goal period, a similar process occurs, but with the intention of determining whether the goal has been achieved and why it was or was not. In assessing progress during the goal period, we determined the reporting year emissions or emissions intensity and compared them to the target year or period's allowable emissions or allowable emissions intensity. In assessing goal achievement, we determine the accountable emissions or accountable emissions intensity, that is the quantity of emissions and removals that are applied to achieving the goal. This must include any transferable emissions units and changes in net land sector, all depending on the goal design. The accountable emissions is determined by taking into consideration the emissions within the goal boundary in the target year or period, including or excluding the land sector, depending on its treatment and the sale and retirement of transferable emissions units. The steps for assessing goal achievement have been explored in the Assessing Progress section and include the development of a GHG inventory in the target year or period in order to calculate target year or period emissions within the goal boundary, determining the quantity of transferable emissions units retired and sold, calculation of net land sector emissions if treated as an offset, calculation of the accountable emissions or emissions intensity depending on the goal type, and recalculation of base year emissions or baseline scenario emissions if needed. And these additional steps for assessing achievement are addressed in the following sections. Assessing the goal achievement as either achieved or not. Calculation of emissions reductions and cumulative emissions, and Assessing why the emissions have changed since the start of the goal period, 